Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our break, and we are back from uh, Fight for the Fallen and No Way Out, and we are prepping ourselves for the final, the, I believe... It's the final countdown. Da -da 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 -da. I believe after seeing uh, what you produced uh, last night, it's going to be a more uh, impressive and entertaining uh, men's Omni Wars world title. But um, before we get into what happened last night, with me as always as Monday Night Dynamite's Jamsaw. How are you tonight, sir? Uh, well, Brock, phenomenal as always, and with that being said, I can't wait to see what you have in store for the folks tonight. Well, uh, before we get back to what happened last night, uh, your man here tonight, uh, uh, is... Ya boy! Ya boy! Uh, ranked number eight, Santino, taking on ranked four, Davy Boy Smith Jr., Oh boy, but um, yeah, let's jump into uh, what happened last night, as we always do at the beginning of SmackDown. Uh, we'll save the first match for last, because, you know, the world title. Uh, yeah. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, that next match uh, was uh, a nightmare for me. Uh, Serena Deeb pinned Soho when she could have done the same to Tay Conti. But. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a pretty crazy triple threat. Unfortunate Ruby taking the loss, but uh, Deeb uh, coming out on top, holding her victory flag high. Yep, and then uh, the nightmare fuel continued as uh, <laughs> TNT champion uh, Danhausen defeated fucking Miro. Yep, he somehow put the curse on Miro, and uh, God's favorite champion was uh, God's favorite failure. Yep, and then, uh, more nightmare fuel, uh, Jake Hager lost in his fatal four-way match uh, to uh, Ethan Page. Yep, Ethan Page finally getting a good win. Uh, you know, he's, he, he's been with the promotion for a while, and this is his first really big opportunity, and uh, I think he killed it. And, uh, that main event, uh, L L LAX securing a win over Top Flight in a very, very good match, if you do ask me. Yeah, indeed. It was, uh, it was, uh, phenomenal, if, uh, if we do say ourselves, and yeah. we do. Um, and it also propelled LAX forward, because they won the match to next week to face another team at the end of the, the month's gauntlet of tag team matches, uh, the last team standing will be the number one contenders going to, to face off 2.0 at the pay-per-view. Yeah, and then uh, moving on to um, the opener, which felt like a main event to me, uh, Cole uh, securing his world title uh, over Chris Jericho. Yeah, in a, in a huge shock and surprise, Chris Jericho unable to uh, reacquire that... Uh, that uh, championship, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it is what it is. Yep, yeah, so as of right now, at the end of the month, it will be the gold brands and current champion, Adam Cole, taking on the blue, the blue brands, uh, The Miz, and taking on the uh, black and red brands, uh, Kurt Angle. So that's going to be very interesting. Correct. And keep in mind, you're not going to use the stock Adam Cole. You're going to go find my Adam Cole and uh, where he's at. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Not we'll see. This is how it is. <laughs> we'll and see. Otherwise, we'll see. you can put Chris Jericho back in that match. Damn. But, all right, guys. So, it seems Daniel Pewter has um, some words to say. So, we are, as always, going to let him do uh, the talking. I'm going to get Jamsaw's uh, opinion. Uh, we all know that Jamsaw is a pewter fan, so... Uh, I'm just about to say, we got to listen to this Yahoo again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so 
He's uh, my Dan has. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, he's got the mic. We'll let him talk, and I'll get uh, Jamsaw's opinion when he is finished.
Oh, shit, ladies and gentlemen. So it seems that next week, Pewter is getting exactly what he wants. And we are getting a one-on-one -on -one match with Pewter and Mr. Kennedy. Well, color me intrigued, I guess. Are you, though? Well, I'm intrigued. I wouldn't say I'm excited. <laughs> I'm mildly not annoyed. I guess. Okay, so up next, uh, again with the same rankings, ranked eight Tajiri is taking on ranked four Randy Orton. Oh yes, Randy, Randy Orton. No, I will tell you. You will one day face the, the the spit of my cobra in your face. Now I I will say this, folks. I will say this. Uh, both of these men will be coming back for season three. In different divisions, though. In different divisions. Uh, Tajiri will be going Santino to the... Santino will face in all divisions. <laughs> Santino will wear all the gold. That's it. All the belts will be our, belong to us. Think, think, perk cut angle in DNA. Yeah, the perk is at cut angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the only d difference is... Randy will be in the United States uh, tit title division, and Tajiri is going to the Intercontinental division. So this might Craziness. so this might be the last time you guys see these two square off. So, uh, high flying Tajiri versus sadistic Randy Orton. Who are you going with here tonight? I want to put my money on Mr. Otan. Oh, okay. I like his RKOs out of nowhere. They entertain me. <laughs> they entertain. Oh! Nice. Are you not entertained? Tajiri! Yes, there you go. Lam. Nice, Take nice. Taking down a peg or two. Oh! Oh, they got, they got, they got, they got. I would love a win for Tajiri here. I would love him to skyrocket in the Intercontinental Division. Why not? There you go. Perfect place for him to to grow in the division. Could you imagine if he wins the Intercontinental Division before the season ends, and then he transitions into season three as the Intercontinental Division champion? That would be that would be incredible. Incredible. Or or, or yeah. <laughs> or like the the dude said from the Princess Bride, inconceivable. <laughs> Shit. All right, to all right, to to Jerry, you got him. No, I spoke too soon. I gotta stop talking, man. No, 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 no to Jerry, no to Jerry. We're not flying. Yes. Oh, maybe to Jerry will fly after all. Fly. Yes. Ooh, double, yeah. double foot drop kick right to the chest of Randy Orton. Now, if Randy's... Calling for a buzz saw kick? Buzz -saw, buzz saw kick? I think so. Now, if Randy's oh, drop kicks are 10 out of 10, what was that top rope drop kick ranking? Eh, yeah, 7. A 7? Okay, okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Alright, Tajiri. Tajiri! Yes, work, work, it, work, work the arm, work the arm. Snap the viper shoulder. But Vipers don't, don't, don't have shoulders, Brock. I know. I know, Jamsaw. I know. Yeah, but break his, break his 
sheets. Break, break, break something. Break, 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 break a one niner. This is a truck stop joke. <laughs> nice. Come on, Tajiri. You've got this. You've got this. You've been running it. Shit. No way, Tajiri. Ooh. Should be able to beat someone like the famous Randy Arthur. We'll see. You know what would be cool? A top rope R R R. I was RKO. just gonna say the same thing. It's like, wait for the cinema, and boom, RKO. Yes! That would be amazing! I feel like if I ever became a professional wrestler, I would bring in the top rope cutter. I think that would be pretty cool. Pick him up! Randy! And drop him down. Randy, former Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, I hit it. Come on, Tajiri. Ooh. I mean, a win over Randy would skyrocket his fucking career. Oh, no. It definitely could, man. I but mean... Uh, Randy ain't about to let that happen. I mean, just in the rankings would... Oh, shit. No, Tajiri. 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 Tajiri! Come no on. Green mask, no butt kick for you. Come on, Tajiri. Just the ranking jump would fucking put a fire in his ass to fucking secure a championship match. Yeah, it'd be a fire in his ass like if he ate Taco Bell for three days straight. Whoa! <laughs> three days, holy shit. How do you eat Taco Bell for three days straight? Jesus, you open your mouth, you put it in. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus! Damn. Well, congratulations, Randy. Keeping his yeah. top spot. Can do it. Oh, what is next, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, that's right. Ranked 8 Brie, again, is taking on ranked 4 Shayna Baszler. Come on, Baze. You got this, Baze. Really? You're going to stick with Shayna on this one? Yeah, man. She's a former uh, WCW, AEW mm, superstar. Yeah, former, 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 former. She's in better places now. She doesn't come out with a red health bar. Because, you know, we feed her. We feed her better. You get your food from Daniel Bryan's gar gar garden shit. And it's just... It's just not good for them, sir. We feed them the healthiest of all McDonald's and Burger Kings. I feed them nothing. It's up to them to, to, <laughs> to, to forage for the catering. Food Cater catering. What catering the fuck is does that? Not exist in AEW. <laughs> catering is here is a jackknife. Go find your own food. Damn. Kill it, gut it, munch it. Whoop. Shayna. Work the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, that too. You don't even need to cook it if you don't want it. You can eat it raw. There you go. Work the back. Work the back. Nice, nice knee, nice knee, nice knee. Ooh, catch her off the rebound. Yes! Ooh! Oof. Damn. Shouldn't have taken her down. That should be enough, but nope. Sorry, because the Bellas are Hall of Fame top stars, so. They're Hall of Fame. They're Hall of Fame what, sir? What? Sir? Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Like, like from the Godfather's Ho train. Oh, oh my god. Fuck <laughs> that. I call them like I see them. It is. What it is. What it is. Ooh, Snapmare. Yeah, Ooh, there's the back. Any day. Oh. oh shit. Sheesh. 
What sheesh. <laughs> Why do you put no respect on the sheesh? There you go. The only sheesh I respect is hashish. <laughs> there you go. Woo, nice. Step there. Work the back. Okay, why does nobody work the back? What what happened? We were just work, work, working the back last fucking week. And, you know, now we're not... Oh, Rhonda getting involved. There we go. Jesus. The back is unemployed now. Nobody's working it. Jeez, we're... It took two seasons for, for managers to get involved. Tell me about it, man. I'm sure it has something to do with some sort of fucking settings or whatever you Yeah, that's why I went through uh, uh, all of who's going to be in season, in season three, and I made sure their traits were, were, were tweaked. Just to make sure that they do... But but I, I will say, Maurice did help the Miz in this season two or three times. I will say that, so, I mean... That is true. I think she might have automatically been set that way, though, because I think she was meant to be Mrs. Manager. Are you saying... Are you saying Brock doesn't... doesn't tweak? Well, I wouldn't know how much meth you do to whether or not you tweak in the Too much. Too much, brother. Too much. <laughs> Walter White called. He wants his meth back. Damn it. Whoop. Yes! Yes! No, wait, no! I'm not with Shayna. Never mind. I want Bree to win. Bree. Bree! There we go. Tap out, bitch. Bree! God damn it. There you go. Listen. Help me, Rhonda, yeah. Listen, Get sir. Listen, listen, sir. Before there was Rhonda. Before there was Shayna, before there was a Sonya, there was the Bella Twins, sir. The dumb Bella Twins? No, they were the ones that invented twin magic, and oh, now your no, show is doing it. Now your you show know, is doing Doug it. Doug and Danny Passion were doing it before. Oh, Bella that's true, that's true. which they also were on the roster, sir. So, I think Brock has good taste in superstars? No, Brock just likes twins, that's all. Damn, you're right. You caught me. Yep. Or Brock is a you call. Call me Eric Bischoff 2.0. I'm a master planner. I'll call you Brock Jerkoff 2.0. <laughs> call me Brock Heyman 2.0. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'll call you Brock Heyman. <laughs> <laughs> call me. Call me Brock of the South. Brock Redhead. Whoop. Nice. Brock of the mouth. Oh lord. You pay you pay X extra for that. You pay extra for no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Basically what we're saying, folks, is Brock is a mastermind when it comes to rosters. He's definitely something. <laughs> Just leave your rosters with me and I'll make them better. I would definitely go that far. Yeah, you have gone that far, and you keep failing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I will give you three names: Val Venus, Kizarni, Paul Burchill. Genius! Come on now, come on now. No, uh, I will not come on any of those men. <laughs> I'll give you three more names. After these messages. <laughs> <laughs> Shayna. Like, through the list. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Oh, tch, Dead Poets Society. All my idea. All my idea. I'm such a genius. Well, you're a genius because you listen to someone with uh, experience and knowledge. Yeah, someone like my... Oh, Bella! Yes, there you go. Bella, Bella, Mo Mella. Banana Fana, Fofella. Um, Mo Santina, Brie Bella, Nikki Bella. Three more names. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm a genius. You need to... Mm. On the... Penis. On, on the Omni War Awards, I want to hear you say Brock is the best GM I've ever dealt with. Well, that's never going to happen, my friend. Why? Because these words you are saying, my friend, I don't think they mean what you think they mean. 
Oh, damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Hello, my name is Jamsa. You have a shitty roster prepared to death. I have a A minus roster. You have an anus. No, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Come on now. No. Put it back in the ring. Come on. There you go. Whoop. Why, excuse me. Uh, you're not excused. Well, then don't excuse me. I was just yawning at your bore fest of a Wow! Okay, mister... What? No. Yeah, you should have nope. just let me excuse myself, but no, you had to make it a thing. <laughs> there. Shayna Baszler, are you happy with yourself? Yes. Wow. 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 Sir, I am putting on amazing matches just to make you happy and yeah, well, you're failing. <laughs> no it's not my fault it's the rankings yeah. whatever 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 I, I i i am busting my ass out here in the fact that you don't appreciate me well <laughs> it's true I saw this post on Facebook talking about uh, uh, about Cobra Kai. Yeah. And the premise of the story is two dads going through a midlife crisis accidentally start a gang war. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, with that amazing insight from Jamsaw, we are on to... As always. As always. As always. We're on to our next match, which is ranked 7... Titus Worldwide taking on ranked two Dead Poet Society. Whoo! Indeed. Sir! Oh my, the rankings that they're gonna jump. Or the rankings that they will stay at if, you know, they lose. Which they've been on a losing streak. Alright, let's look past, let's look at the last three months at Titus Worldwide. Uh, last month, they were, last month they were ranked 6 and, uh, lost to Deuce and Domino, ranked 8. And the month before that, they were ranked 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Oh, that's when we were doing the, uh, the uh, over-the-top rope battle royale. But they were ranked 6 the month before and was eliminated by uh, every team. And the month prior to that, uh, they were... Uh, they actually won against the Highlanders. So, I mean... There you go. So they could very well take out Titus Worldwide here tonight. No. I'm talking about Titus Worldwide being the ones that were on that bad of a streak. Uh, okay. Yeah, so... So, what you meant to say was... So, they very well could not beat this high-ranking Dead Poets Society. I concur with that statement. I mean... I will tell you this right now, I'm, I'm not... I'm son, I approve this <laughs> I will say that uh, one of these teams will be returning for season three, and one team will not be returning for season three. So. One of these teams is not like the others. Wait, oh. no, that sounds racist. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no. So, oh, god damn, nice Apollo. Woo! E okay, okay. Where are you taking them, Apollo? Apollo! Take oh. him to the bedroom. No. I'm going to oil you up and have my way with you. No! Why Why are we rushing now? I don't know. Oh, Paul London. Oh, Paul's going against Titus? Okay. Oh, shit! Holy boy! Oh, Titus. Okay, Titus, Titus, Titus. Catch him off the rebound. Oh, there we go, there we go. 
with Heath Slater in their corner, man. Like Slater doing absolutely fuck all like he usually does. Like I will say, ever since Heath took over, when you purposefully Jerichoed me and took Daniel Bryan, you know, Heath really wasn't doing best with the gift that Daniel gave him. He tries, that's for sure. Yeah, he tries. He fails. He tries his absolute hardest to help make them a championship team, even with the odds stacked against him. They uh, were a championship team when they were handed to him. And they I know, but listen, but listen, you need to accept the fact that maybe Heath, you know, he has a few bad nights, and maybe being a part of bad booking, you know, not he's gonna, from... He's gonna get off the south. That hot jam south. That flaming hot jam south. <laughs> Oh, dropkick. Ooh, nice. Cover. Do you feel like the feeling like your colon is being bled out of your asshole? Then you're like some, some flaming Hot Jam Sauce. Now, do you need a prescription to buy the flaming Hot Jam Sauce? No, you just need an online subscription and uh, three easy installments of twenty nine ninety five. Now, is it illegal to buy flaming Hot Jam Sauce? In some states, perhaps. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, Titus! No, 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 no. Okay, 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 yep. I mean, you could go lower, Titus. Apollo, Apollo needs to change his name. That way you can have Titus and Lucis. That flew right over my head. Tight. Loose. Oh. Titus. Lucis. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. You're hilarious. Maybe it's jam song. Maybe it's swimming hot jam shows. <laughs> Damn, Titus Worldwide shooting up the rankings. Oh. Because yeah, Heath Slater is a shitty manager. Oh, he tries, man. He tries his absolute best. Here are your winners, Titus O'Neill. Damn. You know what? I have a plan for that. You know what? Just to just to just to reward them for doing that. You know what? I'm gonna give them a title shot at the pay per view Cyber Sunday. You know what? Screw it. S screw it, man. A title shot next week. Nope. Nope. You gotta wait for that. You gotta wait, Jamsaw. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, another big name in this match, Brock Lesnar. So anyway, uh, ranked eight Sable is taking on ranked four Carmella. Uh, exciting, I know. Sir, sir, I can sense your excitement and I need you to calm it down. Sheesh. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. As calm as I can go. Ooh, cover? Cover? I don't even know her. Oh. Hi-ho. Hi-ho. Consensually, of course. God damn, who is that? Who? I'm gonna check your Discord in a second. Okay. Ooh, Sable. Sable! Okay. Or Choker. That's fine, too. Brock Lesnar excited over there for his wife. <laughs> Woo, Brock nice. don't need to worry about, uh... Brock don't need to worry about, uh... What? Jam Fox? What's her name anymore? No, no, we're, we're not doing this. No. Don't Ripley, open the... Don't... The open the, don't the no, win. don't open the... Saying. Don't open the wounds. God damn it. Why would you do this? No, 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 do not do this to me. Jams, I'm enjoying my life right now, and you're doing this to me. I'm just saying, man. Take a look at the other things the world has to have. Mickey James. Yeah, that would be nice, too, but take a look at what I sent you. You'll see. 
Oh, my lord. Whoop! Nice, Carmella. Drop! Stop and roll. There you go, pick her up. Nice forearm. Beautiful, Carmella. Drop! Whoa! Nice DDT. Nice DDT table. That was a high impact maneuver if I ever done seen one. Oh yeah. Oh, nice slap. Work the arm, with the arm, but Sable's out of it. Snapmare. Flip. Nice. Ooh, okay, okay. Mella is money. Mella is booty. Ooh, 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 that's one tight squeeze. Ooh, but Sable's out of it, okay. You wanna know how else I know that a that a that AEW watches the brand because I'm here. Because MJF is hiring Big Cass. Because he's like, God, Brock. You know what? Brock used them great on Velocity, so you know what? I should bring them in real life. I didn't even know that you. I can't. I couldn't even remember that you used them. I did. End zone, Big Cass. Totally forgot about him. That's Whoa. how memorable your show is. Wow. <laughs> At least my superstars show up for the pay per views. Yeah, just, mine would too. Just, yeah. say, just <laughs> saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just 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 saying. Just saying. Yeah. All, only my superstars work on my console. <laughs> Oh. She. See zero. See zero. Zero respect for what I do. Cesaro. Cesaro respect. I hate everything. Well, Carmella showing that she is a contender. Oop. Yeah, Mella is money. Like I keep telling you. Yep, yeah, Mella is money, man. She she is a threat to the world division, man. Ronda needs to watch out because it just takes takes one bad night for Carmelo to capitalize and take everything from her. And up next is our main event of the evening, my good sir. Ranked 10. Finally, a match I can get behind. Wow. Ranked 10, JBL. Taking on ranked 5, Chuck Palumbo. Whoo. That's, uh... Damn. Another match where there's a huge ranking jump. Whoever wins and whoever loses, their rankings are going to be affected massively. Indeed. If JBL wins, he goes up to ranked five. If JBL loses, he stays bottom of the board. Bottom of the barrel. Oh. If Chuck, Pal if I push Chuck Palumbo to face the Miz. Uh, to win the world title, then it would be Cole, Palumbo, and possibly Kurt Angle or Crimson. Now that would be a great match just because Chuck was in it. I feel like Chuck Palumbo could destroy C uh, uh, Adam Cole. Just saying. Indeed. Just saying. And then when we go on to the Omni War Awards, you will have to be like, Brock, your roster is so tight 
that, you know, I can't. You can fit it right up your ass. That's how tight it is. <laughs> Ooh, JB. Yo! Bitch slapping him. Yep. Where you take? Okay, there you go. Bye, Palumbo. Bye, bye, bye. Thanks for coming, but you can get the fuck out here right now. You don't gotta go. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Ooh, JB. Yo! Nice swing, neck breaker. Hover. Oh, okay. I fucking was about to say, why is Chuck give, giving him a two already? Oh, oh, oh. Choke slam. Oh. Oh, JBL's up. Oh, I was, I, I was about to say that might be it. Oh, nice, JBL. Jibble, you can Whoa. Jibble. Jabol! Jabol! You take the Jabol by the horns, you're gonna get gored. Uh oh. Could it be over? No. It could be. He's got one of the most dangerous power bombs in sports entertainment. No, Chuck. Chuck, you got more than this, man. Bye bye, Chucky. No, Chuck Chucky is gonna kick out. Banana fan of oh, there we go. Damn! There we go. I was about to was say. Very, very close. Chalk, what are you doing? I was about to say. Okay. Capitalize. There you go, there you go, there you go. Don't squander it. Don't you squander, squander, squander. Cover. Ooh, shit. Not quite enough. Come on, Chalk! Another. Yes! Oh no, you're right near the ropes! Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. No! Oh, thank God. I thought that was a clothesline from hell. It scared me a little bit. Ooh, nice swing. Neckbreaker again. Holy shit. Yep. Thank God, Chuck. God damn. Chuck. Come on, JBL. You can do this. Chuck. Come on, man. No! Wow, fuck you. And that's it. You take the jibble by the horns. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Damn. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are just starting the road to Cyber Sunday the road to the Omni Wars world title. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the end to week one. We have three more in the books. I'm this very ex I'm Shaking very excited. Hands. I'm very excited we're near the end of season two. Uh yeah, and we'll keep you guys updated. With that being said, me and Jamsaw, links are in the description. We'll see you this in the next one. Piece. Peace!